the scale of disappointment I'm using. 17 nugget drop off. We're gonna head into the game. It's big on the T side, NIP on the CT side, and Hampus already sneaking up the middle with the USP. Interested to see they found him. The timing here is actually a little bit unreal. A lot of aggression too, with that little boost up on Xbox briefly or right through those double doors. Hampus is gonna make a play here, and this is gonna be the bomb down. Oh, oh, they're coming back for him. He's gonna get spotted though, and now actually he still gets the kill on Tizian and fair play to him. I was kind of hoping that he was gonna get Gator shot in the back because that would have been so interesting. Now he's gonna be found by that P250 device. Murdering people out on long. Yeah, uh, this is an interesting tactic from Big All. Split up at the start and it's gone to hell just due to the Hampus push. And even though he only gets one kill, it's just wreaked havoc. If you're big, that's a lot of disorganization, a lot of weird communication, and probably a protocol that you don't really know how to overcome and have to improvise. And either way, it's slipped away from him. Gage is looking for just the bomb plant and device is going to dispatch him. And yeah, just a little, a little smirk, a little shrug, a little like, yeah, I'll take those. If he had turned around to kill Gade on the bomb, it would have been, it would have been so confusing for him. Yep. He would have been. Like, Wait, what? I was, lo I was looking middle. He couldn't have walked through anywhere. That would have just been more fun. But fair play, NIP. They pick up the pistol round, and they go pretty, pretty quickly into orcs and M4s. They're not, they're not messing around. with one MP9. They want to be ready. Yeah, they, they got to know that the buy is coming in. Or have a feel for it. I want that weapon to take out the armor. No one else crossing, so I think Searson has likely only spotted one, and he's like, Strat's good, boys. Just just run it back. Let's go. There's a lot of utility. No Molotovs. Excuse me, one Molotov to clear out that position, but it has just been vacated. Yeah, and it's Linus back here from Arsen Hand. He's got no grenades of his own, already dinged up, and that's very painful. Trying to stay alive for a couple of seconds longer, but eventually he's going to get run down. Keita with a nice headshot and a follow-up to take down Rez. That is a three-man wipeout in that B-bomb side or near it. Got a bomb plant on top. <laughs> in a round on top of all that, they're they're gone. Hampus is going to try and save the weapon. So, yeah, this is actually cool from Big as well. Don't let them save. Get aggressive for time's sake. You know, we're not going to have last it much time. longer. Yeah. One last march into the sunset. Okay. I think that's... I think we can manage that. I'm curious how it will play out in the new version. Certainly, I don't know. There are there are many ways to think about it. I think people, not everyone is just I actually thrilled about it. I actually don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> you want it back? I think I'm the only one. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I kind of understand your point in the in the entertainment factor of it because it is. I agree that it can be funny. I just in my mind, what I'm thinking is, what what if it was the last round of the grand final of the major? Awesome. Would I be? Would you be excited if it's like a simple? Didn't jumping? we already have that? He's out. Didn't the apex peak? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> but at least he peaked. That's fine. You know. <laughs> it's just that it was random, I guess. All right, here we go. Nice little kill for Tizian. Trying to hold on to the round here, big as much as they can, and actually doing a fine job. Him and Tabson. Cleaning it up. I thought maybe they were going to run into trouble. True. Coming up later as well. A little bit of extra cash. A little bit of extra spending money. And who knows what those uh, standings might mean. You know, it, yeah. it's a little bit far up big. Having lost the pistol. But then picking up the following round and just continuing on from there. Which is pretty impressive. All picked up on device. Very few grenades on the CT side right now. Ooh, quick peek from Device. He's got a lot of damage. Plopski around the edge again. That Famas, not as much stopping power as they would like, and Plopski goes down. That means Long is open, and Device has rotated to close it. First kill is his, and that puts Gade and Tizian on notice. Line is going to push into Upper Dark as well. A lot of aggression from this Nip defense, and it's working out even in mid. Rez comes behind on Catwalk, and Device is in no man's land, but Gade's got to play a tough game. He does win that one, but he's got three more afterwards. Yeah, and they, I, you know, not facing him up their hampers. There's really no point in, in going for that fight. Just leave him alone and try and see if you could play it more or less as a group. He's got a minute left, so he's just trying to use that time to, to find anyone who's maybe a little bit too far out of the map. Shouldn't be possible for him to, to win this without some kind of mistake on the part of NIP. They're, they're pretty spread out. He's got essentially a bunch of one versus one fights, but it's hard to check every single corner like this. Yeah, he his hands. Tapson has got his. No shot on the cross. Three, you said, you sure? I'd like three. You like three? I don't expect three. Settle for two if it comes down to it. Yeah, if I had to. If you twist my arm. All right. Well... We have at least got the orbs in place, so that's usually a good a good way to get those kills down the middle. 
And big, actually, okay, getting pretty, pretty close in here. Hasn't spotted anyone yet. But otherwise, looks like it could end up with some sort of an A split, at least uh, for the minute. Oh, certainly now. That's a huge kill. Flops, he might want to drop that. That's late. They're going right through it. Oh, but Tapson thinks he got in the corner. The smoke might actually help out. Great spray from Plopsky. Continues it. A bit fortunate and unlucky there. But we're at least in a three on three. That's heroic. That was actually an epic play coming out from Plopsky. I have no idea how he lived to get that double. Almost a triple, let's call it here. Bomb being thrown over. And that was spotted, I think. Rez goes down, though. Keto able to pick up the kill. Lena's coming through on the smoke on the other side. And he walks right in. Keto there to pick up the kill. I don't know what's happening here. I feel like NIP should have 100% won this round. Look at how low they are. 10 health, 22 health there. But Hampus, there's not a lot that he could do about it. So Big will pick up the round. Absolutely insane. Yeah, I believe Rez made the same exact play that Linus did coming through that smoke on Catwalk. Unfortunately, they just couldn't try. Rez, I think, is such a reliable player for that kind of thing. Sis and give yeah, we're not Jason gonna, what he wants. We're not going to get the three if you, if you, you know, hold on the trigger like that. Yeah, you've got to fire the gun. That's not cool. Okay. Just a bit disappointing here, but... I suppose it's hard to criticize them when they're, when they're winning like this. They're about to be 5-2 ahead of NIP. Yeah. And a lot of it has been that a bomb side and long they really they're really enjoying that i mean this round they're against pistols so maybe it's a little bit more understandable yeah that, i mean the first gun round towards the a bombs could go tabson trying to trying his best trying his best to live up to our expectations one last chance for some mid kills like that yeah they pretty much just spread out more or less normally here on the big side He's the end. thinking about going a little bit long while that smoke is up. Could be dangerous, but he actually peaks a little bit further than I think Device was expecting. And with the flashbang on top, he ends up going down. Two for two trade, and they're going to be fine with it, Big. Yeah, well, Rez is rotating over now. Ke Ooh, good shot on the player behind Keto. Trading is fantastic for Big at the moment. These have all been one for ones at every location. Now into a two on two, and the bomb is going to... Coming a bit late, but look at this hold they will be able to have in the post plant. Molotov and the smoke. They use one to make sure the plant can get down safely. Ooh, Hampus is thinking about it. He's flashed through. That is an excellent flashbang to give him the kill. Now, Keto and a one versus one. He sees. Got a kill. Yeah, that is true and, and a bit concerning, right? I think I think Maui said it pretty well on the desk, right? A couple of games doesn't really make for a, for a resurgence. You do need a little bit more when it comes to device, so see if he can start to pick it up again. I think if anyone's earned a bit of extra time to come back into it, it's, it's device. He's been Mr. Consistent over the years. That is a good point, yeah. He's got some runway just, just on that front, right? But I'm sure he himself would love to not spend too much time in the yeah, in the jungle. Probably. <laughs> Out there on his own. Jumanji style. Yeah. Leeches and rhinos and what, I don't know. <laughs> Have you seen the new Juma Jumanji? Didn't they remake <laughs> Absolutely it? Absolutely not. No, I didn't mean either. But the old one. Old ones are legit. Yeah. Slow creep as the smoke wall is up. Searson covering the flank and the device goes down. They're always in like trying to recover the round, right? Oh. Searson looked like he had the right idea. Maybe he would have waited. But um, timing is everything. And a pretty default setup here for pretty much uh, all across the board. I mean, I think that's one of the reasons why I'm excited about Dust 2. Whether or not I'm even for or against the mid-changes, I just want something to change because I just think this map plays out so similarly a lot of the time. Um, partly because the CTs have a, such a hard time doing anything without risking too much. So, Keto though, risking it all down the middle. And catching Linus, that was a nice play. And with that kill... Big doesn't have to commit here. They don't have to do anything if they don't want to. They are going to end up turning the corner. Device takes one shot and backs away. He was blinded. They have to know Keto's trapped in mid-double doors. And at this point, you're locked out of anything at A. You may as well go and address the mid-situation. If you want to actually go for this round and retake it, you need to clear out that mid-player, open up your ability to retake. And there it is. Rez finds him from lower dark. And now that opens up the catwalk avenue. And Tabson got legged through the smoke, possibly through the car up there as well. That is pretty disgusting. With a bomb plant like that, the pressure is back on the side of NIP. 
They do have a kit currently picked up, but no real nades to work with. Hampus doesn't quite make it out. Gated with a headshot taken down. Rez, and he's almost ready for more. He does jump back and gets caught by Device, and what a headshot! Device comes up with the goods. Yeah, there's the bomb. And even without the kid, he's going to be able to defuse it, so, um... I'm shocked at the way that this post plant was played out by Big. Yeah. Searson was, what, spamming blue box at long? And some of those mistakes really aren't, you know, they're as big as the consequences might be. Who knows if that's the round that led NIP back into the game, and suddenly you think, wow, we could have just probably won that one versus two. Gay down to two health. Rez also taking a bit of damage in the mix. And Big trying to speed it up a bit on the catwalk. It seemed like they want it to be a, a bit faster this time. I thought they were going to try and do some kind of a fast play out mid. Get out mid real quick. And I mean, that was stopped. And now Device is just having a field day. Delayed peeking up mid. Two quick kills. And Gade's at 2 HP. This looks like a stabilizing round for the ninjas. And it couldn't come at a better time. Yeah, that, that kind of Device play we really like. We saw it against G2 when he had to try and match Nico, and it was really impressive. Missing a shot there. Flash doesn't really do anything for him. Slightly baited out with the shoulder peak. Gonna buy himself some more time with that nade, and Gate is gonna be waiting for him. Two versus three, and even lower on health. That AWP will do all of the work. 50 seconds on the clock. Linus, I don't know, looking for the gap. Yikes. Gonna be another smoke to set up. I don't know if he saw that. Hamper certainly does, and now Gate, yeah. They in this round. Don't quite have the round loss bonus or anything else. Look at how aggressive they're being again. I like it. This is some of the things that's so rare on Dust 2. It, almost no one does this. So I love seeing it. Hampus, he's not ready. Sears in a well, two for why. one <laughs> shot. Well. <laughs> we just got our answer. Yeah, we did. That's brutal. Yeah, I mean, cool idea. And even Plopsky being aggressive, he's going to find one here. Ooh, they can actually hold on to this round still. A lot of it comes down to Tizzy and over at Long just falling back right now. Obviously, Linus is going to have a big role to play. He spotted one. He knows he's blind. There's the Og, and he couldn't land the shot. That's brutal. He even had a good long while, it looked like, to, to sort of aim that, but yeah, didn't really get it. Plopsky trying to run away with the AWP to save it. But yeah, you're right. I was praising the aggression way, way too early. Had I just waited five seconds, could have spared myself the embarrassment. <laughs> yeah. Well, no stranger to embarrassment. You'll be fine. It has happened before. It really has. You'll be fine. I just, I, I don't know. What's up? I guess the, I guess the fact that it, it's, you can do it, but the risk is so high, right? You're, you're just all in on that play. There's really no falling back. I mean, there's a little bit of, I think unfortunate it, i'm trying to see if they got doubled like one if they were both through the double doors i can't really tell with the mini map yeah it's a good question they look like they're both behind actually i think they were both in front i think device was probably just covering with the awp and they just happened to line up they were on the ct side right yeah yes okay Sweet. eight rounds of them oh there's one of the there's shots one, you wanted baby. let's go a rare one one of maybe one of the last gap shots we'll see at least on the professional level Tabson going down to Plopsky's Deagle, who was flashed. It was through a smoke and a headshot and everything else. That was There was a lot of icons in that corner. Well, Rez has the AWP in middle. And no one from Big is going to show presence there at the moment. It's just the Lurk in the halls. That's Keto. He's going to be on the upper dark stairs. Three players out long. As Big wants to attack this part of the map late in the round, they've got all the utility for it. And the question is, can NIP actually get Rez into a decent enough position? They don't really have—they don't have any flashbangs for his repeak, so he's gonna have to be really careful in his fight selection. Yeah, it makes it tough if you wanted to swing for long. You're right. That's probably probably a bad idea without any kind of a setup. But he could try and wait it out. Hope that they just walk into the shot. Some smokes are being thrown here. That does make it a little bit more tricky. I don't know if they could boost over it to try and, and offset the angle. Plopsky, yeah. Go in that corner and boost up. They're going to get wrecked from Catwalk. Probably, yeah. Guido's walking up. That's bad news. Although Rez, quick reaction. Gets the kill on one. And he's expecting the car boost. Yeah, he wants to see if someone's looking over that. 35 seconds. Hampers is looking for the same thing. They know that Searson is up there. They just can't find him. Nice cover for Gade, leaving Rez more or less. And Linus is just now showing up. 25 seconds. Linus is down. Rez, what a shot to take down Searson. Can he do it again? He's certainly trying for it, but they're, they're getting closer. They're creeping in. Jump down? True. I haven't actually looked at it yet. I, I have. <laughs> I'll be honest, I haven't either. <laughs> but. Not because I didn't want to. Not because I didn't want to. 
double orb on that. And a design. switch up as well on the defense. Putting an op in the B bomb site gives you a bit more flexibility in mid. Also, Linus is playing over towards that A bomb site. He's kind of playing the rotator between long and the bomb site itself. Hampus, the support player over at B. Gonna smoke and just go for that B bomb site. Molotov? I don't know. It doesn't really do a lot. Gets extinguished pretty quickly. And they're boosting to try and. Well, someone is. To try and look over. Fair play. Getting a bit worried there. Now they're going to have to back on out. This is a real mess. Yeah, look how much damage they've taken just for uh, whatever whatever miscommunication this is. And now you're also both stuck in CT spawn with no HP to take any kind of fight that you'd like. And they're executing on Catwalk. Linus is going to do his best, but he had no HP for that and might not have even mattered. Plopsky is all alone at long. The long player for big, Tizian, doesn't have to do anything because his teammates have the bomb site. He just gets to chill. And that's opened up an escape route for Plopsky, but this is 100% going to be a save. Yeah, even as they catch Tizian, you're right. It doesn't even matter at that point in time. Strange, strange kind of round. Again, they just took all the damage in CT spawn. It made them pretty much useless, as you said, in terms of running back to the bomb site to, to take some fights. And then it just folded from there. And they even boosted to look up and see that no one was even headed to the B-bomb site. Yeah. But then they still wanted to stick around. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's just a strange, strange miscommunication between device and, and LNZ. I, I was even surprised to see them boosting device up with the AWP. Put, yeah. Yeah, put the AUG there. Auto, yep. auto snipers out on Keto. Big win. Never works, but it doesn't matter. It's not about that. It's tradition. Yeah. You're not... You're not shooting to aim at someone. No one knows that's going to happen. Like, that's that's never happening. But you, you're just doing it just in memory for all the other times that you've done it. Yeah. Just to get that good nostalgic feeling back. I know. It's, it's wonderful. Oh, sneaky in. Tabson probably would have been sprayed through the smoke regardless there. I wonder if he spotted two in the long game. I wonder if he saw that second one with the, with the headshot animation causing a, a, a quicker death timer. Device with the op going to peek right into Searson holding the angle. Catwalk's open, and with two players at long, there's no one back here to actually defend this. Searson with the off. I like this. Pressuring the situation. He's getting the angle completely blinded, but Plopsky can't really dedicate himself to the cross or to the fight. Good kill from Hampus. But still, Big have control of the site, and it's going to be a retake. Plopsky hiding down there, Searson. Better be careful he doesn't scope too much. He does see it, but he can't get the flick quite. Plopsky will take him down. Smoke on top of the bomb already. Molotov thrown down, but Gade has taken a lot of damage from the nade. And he needs a little bit of backup here from Tizzy and trying to take the fight. Now it's back into a two on three. There is a flank coming down from Catwalk on Rez, and Tizzy actually knows it. That's a really good read. Gets the headshot on top of it. He's gonna throw a couple of nades his way. Oh. Smoke, it doesn't cover almost anything, and it nearly drops Plopsky. Three seconds on that defuse, Tizzy, and it's now or never. Oh, it's 11 to four. In the favor of Big. That was a fantastic first half. Remember, that's the first half in which NIP actually won the pistol round as well. <laughs> Should do a skit where they prank Cole Sears and say that he's won the lottery. <laughs> Is your refrigerator running? <laughs> 16th round. Smoke is up. Flashbangs are in. NIP trying to see if they can claim this pistol round, which they did do in the first half, but then not much else after that. Gade in the corner, missing some shots. The bomb is on the ground, but he's so flashed, and eventually they're going to get him. Tabson is also in the bomb site now, looking for some headshots and a reload that he'll never get through. Tizzy and alone, and this time, any, whatever, what is the, what is the <laughs> science behind it? I don't think it was that. I think it is the focus thing. All right. Fair <laughs> We've got nades everywhere. Coming back as well, landing on NIP. They blow up LNC, no. and now it comes Tizzy and Tabson and Keto, and they win for a long time. I'm glad. All right, grenade down the middle. It tags up four people. It's not a lot of damage, but it's all right. Another grenade. We'll continue. NIP do have pistols. They had great utility usage against, uh, against G2 as well earlier today. That is true. Someone had, what, 720 what? damage? Tapson. Tapson had 720 damage with with nades. I can't even really comprehend that. I just, I'm just trying to figure out like how much that would be. Even if you just average it up with, for further 30 rounds, it's still pretty impressive. Yeah, well, it's seven kills. Yeah, just with a nade. Ooh. Eight, actually. Going down to Rez, gonna go and pick up that uh, Galil and try to see if they can make the job get the job done. Tabson running through, he did get flashed in by Gate, so it wasn't just a, it wasn't just crazy runs there, but um, didn't really make it work. 
Solomon C trying to see if he can do something, but eventually they're going to get turned on with the Deagle's device. Getting a headshot on Searson. Tizian. Almost getting wallbanged there. Smoke is up. Bomb. Delayed just a bit. He's not sure if someone's going to be coming through. Trying to play that game. He fakes it another time. And Tizian. Still plenty of time for, uh, for either one of these teams to grab the advantage of them back and forth in these first three rounds to start the half. A lot of Galil's on that NIP side. I mean, 12 to 6 is... It's obviously big that are, that are thinking about that second map already. But it's not like NIP can't make this comeback work. Of course they can. So, focus has got to stay at an all-time high. Searson, though, taking down the Vice. What a nice shot. Peace. And he's pushing up. I like this. He's got some backup here. The pistol in front. Actually, three of them oh in front. God. Another headshot to bring down Rez. And he wants more. He actually double scoped to try and get that. He's so focused at the moment. And it's working out. A little bit of a return there. I don't think they need to fight this so hard oh, right now. Out. I don't let, know why they're still going. Yeah, let NAP out if they want to take it. That's where you want the fight. But these are all 1v1s. Yeah. They're over peaking way too much. That... That just seems like a bit of a loss. I agree. Let them out. Get them out here against the pistols and the scout. 45 seconds. Gade is pretty far back. Keto has not just health and armor, but also that one HE grenade, which especially on hampers could be a big deal. Man, that's a five on two that's given away by those, those fights at long. Someone had to call them back. Yeah, sometimes it is hard in those hectic situations, but, but certainly nobody took control of that situation. Here we go. Smoke wall is up. Big surely have an idea of what's coming. They're being cautious about the flank. I'm still worried about that HE on Keto. Just, I mean, if any, if Gate tags Plopsky, they could just almost both die. Nine seconds on the clock here. Made it and now. they're going to be run, drumping up. Grenade is in, but it's not going to kill him this time. And Pampus stays alive. Keto with the spray, but he can't. Same kind of uh, strat that NIP did in the first half. All USPs just kind of push through the doors and see what happens device still not moving if he just takes a random shot and kills four that'd be amazing Some damage then <laughs> it's they would have won that other round i mean they had in fact won that other round <laughs> generously gave it back <laughs> it's nice it's important with some charity every once in a while yeah sportsmanship is what it is Season. No scout being played this round. No. At least not by him. The device has had enough of it. Deep nade into the long cave, and NIP is still pretty passive. Minute and 23 seconds on the clock. They've entered into the cave. Device in support of his two riflers. It looks like Rez is going to go for shoulder peaks and dry peaks, and that's going to cost him his face. Tizian still alive, still with a teammate, and Tapson's got one now, too. That's with the P250, and I don't think NIP can go for this at all. They, they want to back away. Yeah. Even with just pistols on the other side, it's a huge choke point. A little bit of a... I mean, that's a good run out. But I, I kind of agree. That's super risky. Could just as easily have worked out the other way. I'm going to keep running. Gade and Keto. Two versus three. And this time, NIP have a pretty good shot at doing this. They are being crept up on. And this is all about timing for Gade, right? One thing is getting this position, but if you go early... I mean, you can tell Linus is watching it on the other side. Yep. And too late, you're not going to be able to help out. He did just reveal the position, unfortunately. Not getting the kill. That's okay. Going to back away. If Keto can provide any resistance, 25 seconds, maybe get one kill, but the smoke wall is completed. That would jump have been scout. an ambitious shot. Jump scout. Regardless. Do it. No scope jump. You're dreaming. No, it's going to happen. Hell no. He's thinking about it. There's the try. He tags him. Do it again! Taking down Linus. That is well done. <laughs> and now it's on gate. One versus two. And he Why is he even being allowed to play it like that? 12 to 9. The gap is shrinking. AIP, they're catching up right now. They're getting back into the mix. Got some M4s. Got that AWP on Searson. And, yeah, the round loss bonus starting to kick in a bit more for the for the big side. That's helpful. They've also, I mean, this is also part of the reason why the, the gap is closed so much is just that weird economic battle that goes on at the start of the round when, when a team wins the second. And it feels like it's just been a while. It's been a long time coming that big gets their first full buy underneath them. 
three people leaning towards the beast. What a weird setup for the CT side this is, at least for for a, for a second there. Now, now maybe it looks a little bit more like something we recognize. And looking good for the spray, but somehow not. Hamper stays alive. Deep Nate, is it actually going to land? Right on top of them. That is so much damage and a Molotov to follow it. They just, <laughs> that just almost destroyed their team. I can't believe it. Yeah, that this has someone's going to get a multi kill in this round from Big. Even with the man disadvantage, Big's still in a very good spot considering that nade damage in mid. I like that reaggression. I like how proactive they're being. Good shoot from Taps. It almost a third, and they've even got one player still, Keto, hiding in the corner. Will the rookie check it? Oh, he wins the battle, but didn't look like he was going to pay attention to it whatsoever. He was the only one with health to take that fight. If that had been anyone else, they would have been dead already. But he had 100 health. He was down to 34. Tizine is going to be taking down Popski. Two versus two with the bomb down and a massive health advantage for Big. But the bomb is on the side of NIP. And Device is alive with the AWP, so the HP might not even matter. If Device can get one clean shot as we know he can, then you can kind of play that 2v1 or 1v1 very uniquely. Yeah, tricky indeed. Flashes go over the wall. Device watching that one angle. Nice shot from Linus. Sprays him down. And in spite of all of the damage that just wrecked an IP in the middle, they still find a way out. That's hard to believe. Yeah. 10 to 12 now. Not bad whatsoever. Searson going to save the AWP. So for Big, it is this. Apart from not losing the five on twos. Yeah, that, I mean, that would be good. That That's one round that they might look back and, right. and wish they could take back uh, and play it over. Keto going to back away from the corner. There's no more bodies here from Big, so he doesn't want the fight. I, I don't know. I feel like Big is doing some cool things and, and doing doing some nice things. Just sometimes the fights aren't panning out in their direction. I like that that mid boost in the previous round. Yeah, like, that felt like he, they caught a player with a nade out and just couldn't complete the frag. I think an awkward, awkward angle with the wall. Even this Tabson walking all the way, hugging the wall, trying to get in there. Searson's gonna get a kill on Hampus, but I don't think they know about Tabson. The smoke up there. Maybe they are gonna look for it anyway. Rez missing the opportunity, and Gade will take him down. That's a nice swing to drop him. And that essentially funnels NIP to this long hit. It's yeah. all here. And you can see Big lined up for it as well. One player pushing through Upper Dark all the way towards T spawn. That's going to come fast. So NIP's got to pick up the pace and try and at least handle this this defense before that flank comes in. I say G. That already makes them a little bit vulnerable. Ready in case anyone jumps. Tizian. Clean headshot. They'll take down Sears and another one comes through. That's a double kill with the Deagle and Devices on the other side. One versus three with just about 30 seconds. And Tizian! Oh All right. 13 to 10. They finally... Almost two. <laughs> Almost. Gade. 19 health. 14 health. 24th round. But if this trend continues, it's, it's still not going to be good, right? It's five in a row for NIP and then big pick up a single round so if that pattern would have repeated itself over and over that would be a bit of a problem <laughs> yes it would tapson gonna flirt behind the smoke got a teammate with him as well that's gade but they don't want to do the boost the mid-round boost that they've already shown off and for good reason i think res and even device are paying attention to the possibility all of nip grouped up together in mid they have control of catwalk very passive defense from Big and a, and a, and a lean towards that B-bomb set. I wonder if that's because they did get legged. Possibly, but they, I mean, they're trying to do it earlier and they called it back to middle. So maybe they just have a feeling that NIP are going to go for some B-splits that we haven't seen yet. Well, there's 40 seconds left on the clock and they just heard the utility that indicates NIP's taken control and gotten aggressive towards the catwalk stairs and they still haven't moved anyone outside of the B-bomb site. So yeah, maybe they're just taking the gamble that they're going to fall into a mid to B-split. Otherwise, you're relying on some kind of incredible effort from Searson. Yeah, and that's what it's going to come down to. They're wrong about that beast, but I think you're right. That's what maybe they tried. Two for one hit as Hampus goes very low. Not a headshot, not a headshot there. Maybe could have been Device. He'll take a kill, but the bomb is going to be planted. They're going to go back on the catwalk and try and hold on to that. There are no nades left for Big to try and force them out of that catwalk position. So NIP in a very, very good spot for this afterplant. 
I think you save here? Yeah. Ooh, this is gonna be so tough if they actually go for it. They're flirting with it at the moment. There's the kill from Tizian. Hampus pops up, and yeah, now comes into the factory. You don't have the tools for the job. Tizian waiting <laughs> on the other side of the smoke. Hampus, oh, well, we can line up all three. Gets confused for a moment, and they're somehow making it work, but Rez is still alive. And even though they've done such a good job, it's just drifted away, and again, they just got lured into that retake by a nice early kill, and they lose so much for it. I mean, behind it, they've only got two kits on Searson and Tizian, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Hampus, double kill in last round, opening up on Searson here. Flashed in to try and see maybe if he could do just a bit more, but I mean, the pressure that's being applied here is hard for big to deal with i think that was a team flash that pulled him away i think they mistimed that coordination after the first oh, no. kill because i think campus wanted to really pick up the pace and continue to apply pressure to the b bomb site and gabe maybe getting a little bit lucky that he backed off the idea he's alone on the side of the map with an awp which could be good news again he's having a really good map right here gate of the 21 kills 22 on tizian but um yeah he's playing fine Kido alone on the bomb side. His teammates down at long. Really important headshot to bring down Hampers, looking for just a bit more. He's got the right idea, but he hasn't really done the damage, and everyone who's trying to help him out is dead, even on arrival. But there's the lineup for him. A big double, even doing the, uh, I think, an assist on the Tizian kill. Divine's on his own, wondering what just happened to the team. Yeah, that's a massive hold. We saw kills coming out. I thought that defense was bound to collapse any second, but nicely done from Kido. Holding his nerve. 30 seconds of the clock. Device rotating around a catwalk. Trying to find just one. And ooh, he lined it up, but it doesn't land even a s All right. Still very, at least early on towards B. It's like, it's like Big have been watching a lot of demos saying, these guys like B splits. They must eventually show up. <laughs> but surely, surely at some point they'll show up. Pin smoke. Tizian will get a little bit dangerous, but smoke plumes just at the right moment. NIP is going to stick around, and it looks like they'll wait this out. They have some utility if they want to try and pop through it. That's a nice nade. Lands on three people, and they have the bomb out there. Going to flash their way into the fight. Tizian, yeah, better to fall back, call for a little bit of backup. He does commit to the second fight, and nearly had it as well, but the res... <laughs> Absolutely shutting down Whoa. Tabs and Plopsky gonna pick up that AWP. They could smoke it off and try and buy a bit of time, but instead, Hampers just finds the kill on Keto. And Gage, Andy. they might be slightly more fatigued than NIP, having having just played G2 in a fairly long, long game. Ooh, Rez. Walking in, just looking for it, finding an empty bomb site. Fair play. That's a nice feeling. Device is a bit overexposed on Catwalk, though. He does have Plopsky with him to help, but, I mean, if this goes south, you could lose a pretty big gun in that AWP. Mathis gets one. Yeah, Plopsky's handling it quite well. Device is going to be just fine at the end of the day. Tizian all the way back in T-spawn. Only thing worse than, it, worse than it going south, Jason, is if it goes north. <laughs> I know it's late on the north. No, Coast. stop looking so satisfied with that joke. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not going to. Yeah. Really, really tough uh, scenarios to deal with. Yeah. Rez is out long. Smoke at the corner, dropping a flash as well. And that blinds Tizian, but he's comfortable behind this smoke wall. Tapson found device, but there are two people in front. But yeah, dropping up like that. Tapson's going to be playing whack-a-mole and taking down Plopsky. Tizian hiding all along, and he was ready for res. That is actually an incredible play. That's very hard to do. And th that smoke is fading. If they weren't right in front of him, he's so dead in that moment. Yeah. They're down in pit and just hiding further back. He's out in the open with no cover. Yeah, there's nowhere to fall back. I feel like on the first day when I predicted Big to win, this was the big I expected. We didn't get the big you. on the just wanted to point that out. That's that's fair. <laughs> they are one of them. I, I actually they are actually one of the, those teams that does that to me too. Because when I see them playing well, I think, oh, this is the this is what I like. And then yeah. sometimes you just don't get it. And there's naturally going to be some up and downs with a new player coming in as well. Yeah, that's Plop. very true. Plopsky's just going to hold for this push, although Keto not giving it to him quite yet. 
Now it's coming. There it is. Easy shot. Peek right into the angle. He goes back, but good shooting from Gade. Nice quick reaction. This Plopsky peeked into it, and even Device recovers with some unexpected mid, mid push. Looked like that could have been a kill, maybe there for uh, for Tapson. Happening. Oh, nice. Couple of taps down from Pit, and Sayerson goes down. Yo, the money situation's really weird for Big at the moment. So this this could have overtime written all over it. It could have. Tizian took a lot of damage. He was in odd position through there. Device. I don't know if he saw him. He surely must have. Yeah. Takes him down. And Gade now on his own. One versus three. That is, again, a very unlikely round to be winning. And as you said, with the money, I mean, it's almost maybe not even worth going for. Yeah, he's going to be... Just to find the close-up player, but Device picks him off at range. So it's going to be 15-14 in the favor of Big. And this would be a really tough match to lose if you're big, considering how well the first half went for you. Yeah. And then when you go back and you see that five on two loss. And you end up playing overtime against G2. You probably don't want to be playing overtime on the first map in a best of three that you, you know, you're just getting into now. That could end up being up. Of two kits, so all good in that front. But yeah, just the, just the one really, uh, the Deagle, which actually at this point in the game, I don't even know if we're going to call that any kind of a weak buy. We're no. seeing plenty of teams put these things together in really effective fashion. Tapson's going to continue the aggression, though. I love this. Again, this is what's so hard to do on Dust2 now. He could get punished for it, but right now there's a need in hand on the other side, and he's going to take down Hampers. Really well played and almost Nip like... has to go. They almost just have to go immediately. The longer they wait, the worse this might get. Smokes are in. Deep nades. I think they're landing a little bit behind them. Not that much damage, but Gade is in the corner. AK out, and he's going to get a double kill. And this is looking so good. A headshot to take down Device. And Rez now on his own. One versus three. Tabson set that whole thing up. Even if he only has the one kill now, he is the architect of this round for sure. Rez outside of the B-bomb site. What does he even do? Getting 